Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kyla and I'm a college student from the Philippines. So today, as what you have read in the title of the video, I will be sharing with you some tips for accounting freshmen. But this is a very special one because the tips will not be only coming from me but also from my college friends. I sent a message. I asked them what tips you can give to freshmen who will be taking accounting as their course. And I am very overwhelmed with their responses. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start with friends. The first tip is that you have to know who to befriend. You need a good moral support when it comes to doing well in your studies as well as your mental health and morale. Be friends with somebody who will push you to do better. That is from Joanna. She also has a YouTube channel, so go ahead and check it out. I will just leave the link of her channel in my description box and at the cards at the side of my video. Okay, so the second one is that your circle of friends is also your support system. BSA is a difficult course. Your friends should not be making it harder. That is from Milka. It's true that the people who you choose to be friends with will either lift you up or bring you down. So it's important that you choose your friends wisely. Choose your friends who will positively influence you because it's you know a good foundation for freshman students to have good and supportive friends. And also take note that in your course, you are not competitors. You and your blockmates, you and your friends, you are not competitors with each other. So help everyone, help your classmates, help your friends. And I might also add, this is just an unsolicited advice. Don't get too attached to your friends because it's only your freshman year. A lot can happen. Like it's a pretty common situation where students really realize what they want to do in life. So some tend to shift to other courses because they decide to pursue what they want. They learned what they really like to do. And yeah, so it's actually pretty sad, but it's part of college life. So choose your friends wisely those who will positively influence you. The third tip is from Von. He said, have a study group. Do not rely on yourself all the time. It is more effective if you and your friends will work together, like sharing references and knowledge that you know. I'm not really fond of group study if I know that I have not yet studied yet and I cannot contribute something. I prefer to do group studies if I finally study and I I can give them something which can be beneficial for them also. It's like ambagan per se. And yeah, share reference with your friends, share reference with your study buddies. And teach them and they'll teach you and you'll both benefit from the study group that you created. The fourth tip is from Ella. She said Know your goals, both short-term and long-term. Counting is hard. It really requires patience, consistency, and perseverance. If you know what you aspire to become in the next four to five years, this will motivate you every day to work and study hard. When you enroll in BSA, ask yourself, what do you want to achieve in your freshman year? Do you want to achieve a certain grade? Do you want to join organizations? and stick to your plan. It will motivate you to do better every day. But of course, if your plan doesn't work out or your plan turns out to be different from what you intended to be, it's okay. Take it as a motivation to do better and to learn from it. Number five is from Milka again. She said, do not be afraid of your own dream. You'll continuously feel challenged and pressured about being a BSA student, but take it as a motivation instead. If you become afraid of your own course, you will see reasons to give up. So don't let others define how you see accountants. 
So again, too many times you will feel like giving up. Too many times you will feel like your self-doubt is more than 100%. But the important thing is to never give up. It's important that you stay motivated. Rest for a while, but continue to fight to achieve your dream. For the next one, this is about time management. The sixth tip is that you have to manage your time wisely. If you manage your time wisely, your schedule will not be as cramped as it would be. This is from Aizel and from Siren, she said, Create schedules and organize your schedules. Make it a habit to avoid procrastination. You will find it difficult to finish one task if you do not have any schedule. Back when I was a freshman, I used to do an hourly basis of schedule. And I also do weekly basis of schedule. Like for hourly basis, what do I want to study? What do I want to accomplish in the next three hours? And for the weekly basis, what topics would I like to study? Would I like to finish studying for, you know, this certain week? If you're being overwhelmed with all of the tasks given to you, start with something small, like ask yourself, what can I do in the next hour that will bring progress in what I need to do? And it's effective. The next tip is from Milka. She said, study smart. Identify your study habits that best suits you for a shortest period of time. There are lots of majors, so most of the time you'll run out of time to understand everything. Uh, it's true. Try to find the best techniques and the best time, which you can absorb everything that you're studying. Like for example, I prefer to study at mornings. When we have school, I study at 2 a.m. or 1 a.m. Well, I sleep at 8, so... I still have lots of sleep and when I do not have any school, I study and I really really try my best to study by 7 or by 6 a.m. Uh, it gives me you know, some sense of control when I study in the mornings rather than studying in the afternoon when it's so hot or evening when I just want to sleep. <laughs> the last two tips are actually from me so the ninth tip is that just like in the Korean drama, it's okay not to be okay. Accountancy is a course where you will feel a lot of pressure. And it's pretty common and some days you will feel like you don't want to continue or just want to say, hey, I give up. But don't give up. Take it as a motivation and do not invalidate your sadness. Because without sadness, you will not feel any happiness or drive to finish the course, right? And it's important to take care of your mental health because sometimes it's really draining. So it's important that you have your support group, you have your family, you have your friends. And talk to them, tell them how you feel, and don't bottle it up within yourself. And for the last tip is that respect your professors especially now that we are approaching online classes they're giving part of their selves to, to you so appreciate that even if it's just a minor or major subject they all deserve equal respect especially even if you're the smartest student in class if you do not respect your elders if you do not respect your professors you're nothing and since we are doing online classes as what I have said earlier don't make it harder for them make it easier for them if they're asking you for feedback if they're asking you how is it how was the class please answer them it will be a great help for them and don't trick them into kicking them out or changing your profile picture in your zoom or skype accounts to trick them because they are doing their best and you should do your best also if you just want to fool around then might as well do it outside of the class but always 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 have respect for your professors thank you very much for watching this video this is just a part one i'm thinking of doing a part two because there are lots of tips that they shared and I'm pretty overwhelmed that they really explained and they really expounded what they want to share to you guys. So I'm thinking of doing a part two so that all of the tips will be shared to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you have any content suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So thank you very much and see you in my next video. Bye! Guys, I also shared some links on some dog rescue groups. If you have time, please like their page, please donate, and please adopt and don't shop. And yeah, so if you ever see some stray animals, if you can't feed them, don't hurt them at least. So yeah, thank you very much and bye-bye.